Draw a square. Measure halfway along the bottom side of the square. Now draw a semicircle using that point as its center, cutting through the upper right corner of the square. Mark the point where the circle crosses the extension of the bottom part of that square. Draw a perpendicular line up from that. Got it? Now join everything up. You should have a rectangle in which the side of the square is 1.618033988. The number goes on, but this is roughly it times the length of the rest of the long side. Congratulations. You have drawn a golden rectangle. The proportions, known usually as the golden ratio or golden section, are particularly pleasing, beautiful even. The ratio has satisfying properties. For instance, we've seen that A to B is approximately 1.618033987 times as long as B to C. But what you might not have realized is that A to C is approximately 1.61, look, you get the point, times as long as A to B. Also, the mini rectangle that you formed within the main rectangle when you drew the perpendicular has exactly the same proportions as the big golden rectangle that you first constructed. If you join up the dots, you get a spiral that is very similar to a nautilus shell. It's a pattern that recurs in many plants and animals. The golden ratio isn't just found in nature. Artists and architects have knowingly used it for thousands of years. Parts of the Parthenon and Notre Dame Cathedral seem to be based on it. If there were a beauty contest for rectangles, it would be no surprise if the golden rectangle won. <laughs>